What's up everyone? Welcome to the 167th episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm your host, Animation Rewind, and if you're new to this series, be sure to check out the older content. But if you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for the fight. Now if you're wondering how I got this idea, I owe the matchup idea to the legendary JMB Raps himself. He hit me up in Discord and supplied me with the great idea to have these two fight. But if you want to see them rap battle, we'll click this annotation or the link below. So yeah, if you don't know, tonight's episode features Mama Tattletail and Freddy Fazbear. With all this being said, let's introduce Cartoon Fight Club's 167th Round of Fighters. The biggest loser on Cartoon Fight Club is back, and I'm not here to insult Freddy or his series, but if it's one thing that FNAF is known for on this channel is losing battles. They've lost almost every single fight they've been featured in, except the one time that Freddy beat Chuck E. Cheese. Maybe today's the day he redeems himself, or maybe today is yet another sombering loss for the FNAF Nation. Not much is new for Freddy, he's only getting older and weaker as Father Time drills away his body, but he's still got the same bag of tricks that made him the great leader of the Fazbear Band to begin with. Most of his abilities are extremely vibrant and they are heavily reliant on attacking through biting, jump scares, and animatronic suit stuffing. Freddy Fazbear is a very skilled pizza thrower, child murderer, and face eater. He's also great at giving his victims nightmares. Once a victim is casted under the spell of Nightmare Freddy, there's not really any chance of escape. Freddy uses his psychic powers to mentally torture his victims and physically kill them. As you may know, this guy is a very skilled thinker and planner. He well knows how animatronics, electricity, and technology works. He understands all the weak spots and right places to attack when it comes to breaking down machines. This experience on animatronic technology comes from his times he repaired himself and when he stuffs victims into other suits. Now since this fight is a one on one, Freddy would be slightly limited. As a team he can perform so much more. Also don't forget that he's an aging 38 year old animatronic, however even with his old age he's still strong enough to bite through human skulls, break bones with his raw strength, and is still very hungry for murder. Overall, Freddy is an extremely dangerous and deadly supernatural animatronic, but he's an old animatronic and his shell can easily be damaged. From one jump scaring indie monster to another, let's discuss Mama Tattletale. I was going to start this segment off with some generic Furby joke, but comparing these things to Furbies is pretty much a dead horse at this point. Here's a challenge, try to find a YouTube video that features this thing that doesn't mention Furbies. You won't find one. Anyway, every child loves opening up presents. Receiving something for free and for no effort is one of the most satisfying things in the world. Unless what you're getting is your impending death. Well, say hello to Mama Tattletale. This toy rodent was designed by Waygetter Electronics and her purpose was to be the best thing that ever happened to the company. Considering that she may be responsible for the death of possibly multiple staff members, you might be able to tell that being the best thing for the company probably wasn't the case. When Mama Tattletail enters your home as a toy, it's her job to tell you stories and comfort you, you know, with her motherly warmth and joy. Some say when she goes berserk that she's just out of order, but others say she's possessed. Spoiler alert, she's possessed. She has the ability to teleport, has impressive night vision, and has a killer jump scare and bite attack thanks to her six sharp teeth. This monster is attracted to very loud noises that her targets can make, so if you're too loud in front of her, she will snap into her possessed mode and kill whoever is creating the loud sound. She also has the ability to power down surrounding electricity. For example, if you point your flashlight directly into her face, she can depower it and turn it off. Once the lights are out, she can quickly go for the kill and hunt you down. Now the thing with Mama is that you can banish her from her home and protect yourself. If you could successfully relight all five candles and get the VHS tape to glow, you can rewind the tape and destroy it which will simultaneously banish Mama from your house. 
Now, if you fail this mission, you would receive a present that only contains a vapid and fatal jump scare. This thing may be small, but that doesn't stop her from being powerful enough to kill humans with her crazy attacks, kicks, bites, teleportation, and jump scares. Overall, Mama Tattletale is a haunted Tattletale toy with the ability to teleport, bite, and jump scare. What she lacks in arms, brute strength, and power, she makes up with speed, quick thinking, and cunning. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle will take place in the Freddy Fazbear Pizzeria with no prep. Let the battle begin! <laughs> Thus began the thousand-year war between the avians and the insects. It was a brutal war, it was a bitter war, and most importantly, it was a visually spectacular war. Attack! Charge! Sorry, I'm being told this would be very expensive to animate, so instead here's some stock footage of an old plane trying to take off. They didn't have enough wings. Now hold on time. Come to mama. Mama's looking after you. Mama's coming. Finally, after all these years and all these losses, Freddy Fazbear finally gets his second win. The FNAF cast has lost every single fight, from the entire cast being wiped by Kara, getting two good lickings from Slenderman, being blasted away by Lucario, getting memed to death by the Dolan gang. The FNAF crew finally nabs their second win. Granted, their only two wins comes from a practically feetless Chuck E. Cheese and a rusted up Furby in Mama Tattletale, but hey, a win's a win, and it's not about how much you win by, it's if you win to begin with. So now let's discuss why Freddy actually wins. Well, to put it bluntly, every ability Mama Tattletale has, Freddy also has plus more. They can both teleport, they both have killer jump scares, and they both can shut down technology. They can even both manipulate their victims, but Freddy has a few tricks up his sleeve that Mama Tattletale just can't pull. 
And by trick up his sleeve, I mean he actually has arms to host sleeves in the first place. Believe it or not, but not having arms is a really huge disadvantage when trying to fight someone who does have arms. Plus, considering that Freddy is way bigger and made out of more stern metal since he can't easily be shipped like Mama can, she's clearly going to have a disadvantage in durability as well. Freddy has range attacks thanks to his songs and his pizza, while Mama can only kill if she gets a good bite on you. Mama Tattletail just couldn't arm herself and is now handed a low five loss as Freddy just had the upper hand in this fight thanks to his right to bear arms. Okay, okay, I'll stop with these unbearable puns now, but look, Freddy is not the only animatronic around, and Mama Tattletail isn't the only Tattletail toy around. So if you want to see a total war between Team Five Nights at Freddy's versus Team Tattletail, all you gotta do is like this video. If this video gets 30,000 likes, there will be a total war. Plus, don't forget to comment down your own ideas, and stay tuned because the next fighters are going to be revealed on the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm gay. Sugarashina. Sento me that my kami no kyo matotta sugata na kureka.